Hello dear children, it's me Yoshino sir and it's my immense pleasure to invite you to the world of English grammar. Dear students, what have you been doing since we last talked? Have you been learning English seriously? I hope so. Dear students, what did we learn in the last video? We have discussed about the present perfect tense, right? Present perfect tense. What is the highlighted point there? Or what is the central idea of present perfect tense? Yes, I told you that we use the V3 form, right? And I've told we use the verb 3 form, V3 form, the past participle form, only with the present perfect tense. And we have learned that the main helping verbs or the central helping verbs of present perfect tense are have and has. Yes. Can you recall your ideas or your understanding about the present perfect continuous tense? Have you learned the present perfect continuous tense in your life? Dear students, I am quite sure that most of you may not have learned the tense forms like this. Mostly when we discuss about the tense, we have only one form. Okay, present perfect tense. Okay, we say I have gone or I haven't gone. But we learn the tense form thoroughly. Okay, we have got the four forms here positive, negative, interrogative, and interrogative negative. First two are statements. We say things positively and we say things negatively. We ask questions positively and we ask questions negatively. Dear students, that is a central idea of present perfect continuous tense. Now, what is the idea behind using this tense? Tense, time, present perfect continuous tense. Something that has started in the past and is continued in the present. I have been teaching English, which means I have started somewhere in the past and still now I am a teacher. I have been teaching English. You have been learning English. Yes, you have started maybe when you were as a kid and still you are learning English. It is a continuous process. Thereby, we use the tense form present perfect continuous tense. Once again, let me clear. Once again, let me reconfirm it. We use the present perfect continuous tense to mean that we have or an idea or an action that has happened in the past plus it is being carried out. You must have heard, maybe your parents, you ask, what, what's their uh, job? What are they? They might say, I have been working as an IT professional. Yes, they must have started in the past and still they are doing that. So that is the idea behind using 
this tense or this time once again just keep these things in mind we are going to learn it in detail but these are the main rules or we can say this is the mind map of this video on the present perfect continuous tense positive subject plus have or has plus been plus v1 plus ing i have been learning english and where do we use has we use has with the third person singular what are the third person singular what are the forms he she or it third person singular plus where else do we use has yes if it is singular noun shinosar has been teaching english i have been teaching english if i use the name singular name it is has the boy has been learning english but the boys have been learning english singular plural singular plural singular has and plural have been learning playing running cooking eating whatever it may be now what is the central idea of negative that is not i have not been teaching mathematics i have not been not she has not been learning science or she has in been i have in been have not been have in been has not been has in been negative interrogative asking questions interrogation questioning somebody have you been learning english it's a question therefore we have to put question mark at the end these are all statements so we are putting the full stop at the end has it been raining has it been raining it's a question now when it comes to the negative question that is the interrogative negative form have or has plus subject plus not plus b v1 plus ing have you not been working hard has she not been working hard haven't you been working hard or hasn't she been working hard short form and the long form dear students this is the central idea of the present perfect continuous tense dear students now let's focus let's focus on the first form that is the positive form subject plus have or has plus been plus v1 plus ing here i just give you some examples that is to make it understand a little more clear dear students i have written the personal pronouns that will go with have and i've written the personal pronouns that will go with has dear students it's the same way whenever we use the plural forms that is we say boys have been boy has been if it's a plural noun for example we say 
my brother and me have been but my brother has been singular rajesh and ravi have been if i say rajesh it is has been okay all right now i have been eating okay if you want you can add any object that is the reason why i have not added any object so mangoes if it is singular mango i would say i have been eating a mango or i have been eating mangoes clear okay we have been eating mangoes okay everything whatever is here i v u d subject plus have okay plus been plus v1 that is eat and ing eating i have been eating okay yes it's something like that we have been eating you have been eating they have been eating mangoes chocolates ladoos jalebis whatever it may be okay yes now has been she has been he has been it has been the personal pronoun third person singular okay yes has been eating mangoes he has been eating it has been eating so i hope it's clear to you yes dear students now let's go with the, the second form that is the negative form subject plus have or has plus not plus been plus v1 plus ing yes you can see not everywhere right yes now we can also use the short form that is haven't instead of have not i haven't been eating mangoes or has not hasn't yes that is the short forms of have not or has not haven't and hasn't now let's look at the sentences i have not been eating we have not been eating you have not been eating they have not been eating i haven't been eating we haven't been eating you haven't been eating they haven't been eating anything okay yes now she has not been eating he has not been eating it has not been eating she hasn't been eating he hasn't been eating and it hasn't been eating it's something like that i have told it's singular noun my father hasn't been eating or has not been eating she knows sir has not been eating okay singular which is plural the same thing my friends have not been eating my friends haven't been eating clear yes now let's go to the third form that is the interrogative form have or has plus subject plus been plus 
v1 plus ing that is the question form you can see the question marks everywhere right yes we are asking questions how i been eating mangoes or anything all right have you been eating have you been eating have they been eating dear students it's for your better understanding i've repeated these verbs you can also say playing running dancing jumping reading writing any verbs okay yes has she been eating has he been eating has it been eating okay yes now here you need to check only the grammatical coherence the grammatical perfection okay the meaning ways it may be different for example if i say has it been eating sometimes we get confusion right but if i say has it been raining it makes a little more meaning correct yes so this these are the central ideas of the interrogative form or the question form now dear students let's get back to the last form that is the interrogative negative yes the negative questions for example we say in the interrogative we have seen how i been eating and the interrogative negative it is have i not been eating or haven't i been eating have we not been eating or haven't you been eating or uh, haven't we been eating or have you not been eating haven't you been eating have they not been eating or haven't they been eating it's the same here has she not been eating or hasn't she been eating has he not been eating or hasn't he been eating has it not been eating or hasn't it been eating they are the positive long forms and the short forms of interrogative negative okay long forms and short forms of interrogative negative negative questions okay dear students so please keep all these things in your mind while you are forming questions positive questions negative questions positive statements and negative statements dear students now let's play a small activity the activity's name is yes or no activity okay so we ask questions positive questions or negative questions for example have you been playing have you been dancing has she been playing or has she been dancing or jumping have you not been cooking food or have you been cooking food what answer would you get yes yes or no if it is yes positive statement you have to form the positive statement for example have you been writing essays yes i have been writing essays or no i haven't been writing essays negative statement if it is no negative statement and if it is yes 
positive statement. Questions. Okay. Has he been writing clearly? Yes, he has been writing clearly. Has he been helping his mother? No, he hasn't been helping his mother. Negative statement. Has he not been helping his mother? Yes, he has been helping his mother. No, he hasn't been helping his mother. Hasn't he been playing football? Yes, he has been playing football or no, he hasn't been playing football. See dear students, how we are forming the statements. Yes, practically you can play this game to understand the present perfect continuous tense clearly. Dear students, now we have another activity. Yes, we have been doing this activity, right? I, I was asking different questions. While we have learned the simple present tense or present continuous tense or present perfect tense, we have played this small game. What is that? Change or transform the given sentences as directed. Yes. I have been learning English to interrogative. How do you change it to interrogative? Have I been learning English? Yes. That is the question. You can play this game at home, okay? Have you been playing? It's already an interrogative statement or question. So you have to change it into positive. How can I change? Yes, you have been playing. It has become a positive statement. Has he been eating? It's already an interrogative statement. Change it into negative. I'm not asking you to change it into interrogative, negative. I'm just asking you to change it into just negative statement. So, he has not been eating. Negative. Now, she has been cooking. It's a positive statement and you have to change it into interrogative negative. Has she not been cooking or hasn't she been cooking? Interrogative negative. So dear students, you can play such sort of games at home or maybe with your friends while you are having your uh, live chatting or something like that or when you come to school you can play with your friends this is playing plus learning dear kids it's a time to recap today we have learned about the present perfect continuous tense and it's for divisions they are positive, negative, interrogative and interrogative negative. Positive, subject plus, have or has plus, been plus, v1 plus, ing and negative, subject plus, have or has plus, not plus, been plus, v1 plus, ing. Interrogative, rule have or has plus, subject plus, been plus, v1 plus, ing. And interrogative negative or negative questions. Have or has plus, subject plus, not plus, been plus, v1 plus, ing. Dear kids, I have explained 
the tense present perfect continuous very clearly and now it's your duty to watch this video time and again to understand this tense thoroughly learn the video thoroughly and we will meet you in the interactive session